Hi guys, uh, give me just a second to get set up here with my uh, iPad for YouTube because I use StreamYard. So, just need to bring it up. Use StreamYard. Alright, that way I can see my chat. Alright. Today I'm going to use some pan pastel on my gel press. It's the first time I've ever done this, but I've seen like a bunch of videos on it. So I'm feeling a little confident, but as a, with anything, you have to try it to know if you're even going to like it or how to do it. Um, these are my pan pastels. Uh, I got a set the full set on Amazon I think it was if you look up pan pastels you'll find it uh, the full regular set you would get four trays of I think 20 yeah four trays of 20 it's like an 80 set so these are all the reds and the, this is the way they come in the tray if you're interested and this is like some of the greens and blues this is blues and purples and some browns and this is like all the rest of the browns and the gray and the black and then this tray was separate this tray is uh pearlescence you got all these pearlescence here that's your gold your silvers um uh, you got pearls. I think that's a colorless blender. No, it's white fine pearl medium. So these are all your pearls. So these are what I'm going to use today. I don't have a real plan other than using stencils and some acrylic paint and maybe some gel medium. See, have to make this to where it's a little bit more adjustable. I'm gonna set my pan pastels over here. Let me get out my gel plate. This is the 12 by 12 gel plate. I don't even think I've used this, but once or twice, as you can see, it's still quite clean. If you're in here watching, just go ahead and say hi. You don't have to talk a lot, I understand. Sometimes I don't like talking on lives either. So this is my gel press. Can't really probably won't be able to see the colors too well underneath. So I'm gonna stick this piece of paper under here. As you can see there's some blue tone in here because I've used it just a little bit. I am going to take off this first sheet. I'm not taking off the bottom. Leaving that on. Yeah. It's probably going to slide a little bit. But if it gets too bad, I'll take it off. I just don't want to put it on the black because then you're not going to be able to see too much. All right. First thing is first, I'm going to take a little wax on here. I think that blue's on the other side. Let's see on the other side, it's got some stuff. If you have friends that might want to watch this, go share the link. Okay, that's stuck in there. Okay, we might be using this other side instead. All right. I 
this little particles are probably embedded in there, but that's all I can do. Uh, usually pan pastels will come with some tools. Um, I have these little tools that you can get. Um, and there's these little sponges. They have some bigger sponges that you can get. Um, and you can get these like little, kind of like my makeup applicators for small detail. I'll leave that open in case I need it. Okay, it's these little like makeup applicators. So I'm going to use probably mostly stencils. Um, I have some stencils that I bought, some stencils that I've made. Uh, I make stencils on my cameo. Some of them are from other people, but I I just go ahead and make them. But they're for personal use only. All right. And then the items I am gel plating today are some uh, Rolodex cards, which they're not punched yet for the Rolodex, but I will. As you can see, it's all punched out there. I'm supposed to be having going to a class this weekend, and I wanted to get some of these backgrounds brought up in a second. And so I cut a bunch of this stuff today on my cameo. So um, I do have some that's already that got cut um, with the thing in there, but that don't match up with my punch. So I took it off. So I'm actually going to stick this in that. Yes. Don't really have a lot of space. I'm just going to do the best I can. All right. I want to start with some of these cards here and some small stencils. Um, let's see. I'm going to take a stencil. I'm just going to put it on the mat like this. You can then I am going to get a little sponge and pick a color like, let's do this yellow. I'm going to put this pan pastel right on here. I'm using this, this yellow right here. As a matter of fact, I could take it out. Put it here. Alright, oops, I forgot I moved it over here. May add a few other stencils on here. Do a whole background and then just lay the cards on top. Um, after you get all the pastels that you want on here, you're going to take like an acrylic paint and a paint roller and put a really light layer over on top of it. You can use colors, other colors. Um, white might show up a little bit better. Not sure if y'all can see how 
precise this is. All right. Then I think I might take this one. Forgot what it was called. I got these from uh, Maddie at Spectrum Arts. So I'm going to go for another color. Uh, I'm just going to go for orange. Here's another part of the sponge. This, I think I might go in different colors. Let's see. Let's do an orange. Like I said, I don't have a lot of space. So I'm trying to make this work. Let's do... If you want to get your palette of colors that you'd like to use. And then have it all set out. That's a, this is like a lime green. I'm going to put some of this over here. Then I think I might use, this is turquoise. And I think in this one I might bring all the colors together. the green All right, I'm gonna lift this up hopefully you can see how that looks um, we go for this one do it mostly in green. I'm going to use one of these tools. Um, choose, I'm going to use this green right here. This is bright yellow green shade. It's a step up from th this color. They usually put them all in like little steps. Yeah, this is going to get in there really good. If you want to, you can go in with a little bit of a lighter green. Let's go in there. A few highlights. So I'm going to set that back over here. Use a little pink for the flowers. I'll switch my tool up and use this little pointy one to get real in there. Some little flowers here. If you have any questions, please ask. I don't mind questions. I'll do my best to answer. All right. I'll pull this one up so you can see. Hopefully you can see it. Oh, let's see if I can pull this up. Oh, I did. I put that right on there. Ew. Be careful with your gel plates. If you do something like that, it might stay. Maybe it'll come out. If not, it'd be permanent. I'll just have to flip it over. Thanks. My bad. Uh, let's do this one here. I'm going to go in again with this green. It's kind of hard to see. Let's see. Sorry, I'm going to have to kind of stand up and look over it so I can see these leaves and such. It don't have to be perfect. You do you. 
That's all that matters. I'm going to go in with a little bit of peach right here. And I think I'm going to go a little bit darker with some orange in the middle. I'm going to wipe it off. I'm going to wipe it off on paper towels, but paper towels tends to tear these up. So I'm going to go back with the peach again. Kind of blend it. I think I'm going to put a little pink in these other outside flowers and stuff. Alright. I'm going to lift this up. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. All right, let's see what other uh, stencils I have. So, may just go over the entire thing with a certain color. Um, I'm getting my white. This titanium white. You know what? What am I letting you show on the paint? I just forgot that titanium white is not going to show on the paper. Can do a gray. So I'm gonna pull that up. I'm gonna wipe this off a little. A little bit of glue. Blue, not glue. Just put some right here. We put a little blue. Over here. Alright, then I need to add just a little bit more. Hmm. I need to. I think I'm going to use this stencil here. Um, let's go back in with the gray. I don't want to mix some colors here. It, it's okay. It's not going to hurt your pan pastels. Alright. Now, move these out of the way for a second. Oh, I didn't get my roller. Sorry about that. Now we get some acrylic. Hi. How are you, Vanessa? Or Angela. Sorry. 
Oh, Crafty Angels. My bad. I'm sorry. All right. I'm going to put just a little bit of paint on here. I think I need some new paint. You don't want to put a lot. If you want to, you can put some like on a acrylic paint or acrylic mat and kind of roll it out. As you can see, you can still see the design. You don't want a lot of paint. All right. I'm just going to start sticking these on here willy-nilly. No rhyme and reason. So this one I maybe I'll get some of this on this half and pull it up and it's more on this half Pull it up. I know you can't see it too much. But there's like a very light, subtle design on there. Again, I'm going to get some of this right up here. So I'll rub these in. Take my big brayer. All right, let's start seeing some of the, your name is Vanessa. Okay, let's see some of that design there. Oh. And you can still layer up with uh, these. Just a little bit there. I think I should have put just a little bit more uh, acrylic paint. that one making get another pull out of this where's that one All right. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more paint on here I don't think I put enough for this big old gel plate. Let me get some of these divider. Well, yeah, these dividers. Sorry. Let me get some of these dividers I made. I'm going to put these on here. Yeah. Sorry. Some center ones. All right. No. Let's put that right here. Pick this up. how faint design these colors are soft so they're not really wanting to show up too good so I'm just going to press these down in here 
see how this pool comes and then we might try another one. Ooh, this one really came out really good since I put more paint on it. There's that. You can try a colored acrylic behind these if you want like a different design. That's really coming out really good. Right. Ooh, that is pretty and vibrant. There's that one. There is a faint design over here. You just can't see it too good. Alright. There's that one. And of course, last but not least. It's got the little leaves and stuff on it. Alright. I'm going to clean this off with some baby oil. Whoa, that is not what I meant to do. Fantastic. Yeah, don't do that. I forgot that I took the little thing off. Oh, well. Don't do what I just did. I think I have to go get some paper towels and soak this up. But it is getting it off really well. And it don't have to come out perfect. That means it's just going to show up on some other designs. Which is good. You want that. You're going to have to give me a second here in a minute. i got to go get some baby wipes. I mean, paper towels to soak some of this baby oil up. <laughs> Don't do what I just did. All right, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go get some paper towels to soak this up. Okay, sorry about that. Made a little bit of a mess. A hot mess of that. Well, I'm here to make the mistakes so y'all can see what I'm doing wrong, right? I don't want to put your baby oil in like a little squirt bottle or a little squeeze bottle. Good for now until I get done and I'll do a real good cleanup on it. Oh, 
All right. Lesson learned. And we get the lid put back on that before I spill it again. Now my hands are all moisturized. All right. Get some of these colors. Y'all want to pick some colors for me to do next? Don't go right ahead. Like a color palette you think would look good uh let's see i do have this in so i can do a like an entire background of is there anything that y'all would like to see in this stencil here Let me know if you like any colors. I'll wait. Should have got like another end table to stick these pastels on. Any colors you just want me to pick? Like any greens or blues? Um, have a bright yellow green, a uh, chrome oxide green. Uh, permanent green. What is this color? Phthalo green, turquoise. I would like to see a dark purple, but with any choice. All right, let's see. Whoop! I stuck my hand right in that. My kids are going to wonder what I do when I'm, when I'm not driving the bus. I just stuck my hand right... Don't you. I stuck my hand right in the pastel. Alright. I got some of these purples and blues here. Let's... Do... Like a ombre type. I do these four. They're on, like an ombre. Uh, let's start with this. Alright. Hi, sweetheart. Yellow, gray, and peach. Okay. I will do that next. Okay, Diane? Let's see. I'm going to start out here. I'm going to do kind of an ombre. Yellow, gray, peach. Okay. Ah, tool wants to fall off. Get back on there. This is the first time I've really used these pan pastels. Kind of ashamed to admit it, but I've had them for about a year. 
All right. I'm going to do just a little bit more on here, but I'm going to wind up layer over the next color in just a second. All right. I'm going to go in with the next darker color. Kind of blend it together. What size gel plate is this? This is the 12 by 12. I do have the smaller ones, which I should have used, but I wanted to kind of layer up quite a few of these. Get a few of them on here at the same time. You ask Maddie, she probably could get this ordered for you. I got mine on Amazon. Actually, my husband got it for me for Christmas. I'm going to go in with another dark color. Actually, uh, instead of using this, I'm fixing to go to the big tool. I'm going to grab this. I'll make it a little bit faster. So one thing about these is they take a little bit longer to put on, but the detail that you can get is like gorgeous. You could also uh, do like a whole scene, like no stencil, no nothing, and make like a scene, and it would be beautiful. There's no limit with these on what you could do. Once you put the uh, acrylic paint over this, it's sealed. It's not going to come off on your hand. All right, we're going to go back to this lighter color here. Yeah, it's a good size. I like that, like, when I use my 8.5 by 11 paper, that this would cover all of it and not leave the sides. The little um, 8 by 10 plate would give you a border on your 8.5 by 11 paper. So, this is nice that it's not going to give you that border if that's the size paper you want to use and i'm no gel plate expert by no means so as you could see what i did with the baby oil where i had the little mishap but hey things happen all right i'm gonna take this lighter color now Kind of blend it in. I cannot wait to take this off to see what it looks like and then pull it. This I may do a whole eight and a half or a full 12 by 12 pull. Uh oh, I grabbed the wrong color. No biggies. We'll just go right over it. All right. 
get off as much of this as I can. My hands are going to be so pretty. See my hands? You don't have a gel plate thinking this would be the best size. It is, Dawn. I love the size. Um, I do have some of the smaller ones. I got the small ones that um, Maddie was showing last night. I do have those as well. Hardly used them. I did use them one time and I found a little secret of some items that I have. Okay, I know you cannot see this right now because of the back, black background. Give me just a second because I'm going to pull this on a full 12 by 12. I'm going to pull it on a full 12 by 12. All right, where did my paint go? Hmm, paint, where'd you go? Ah, there it is. All right, I'm going to take my brayer. Get these out of the way. I'm going to stick my finger in them again. Like I said, once I go over this with this paint, it's locking these pastels in. Those pastels is like a chalk paint or chalk media. You're excited. I'm fixing to pull it. I'm going to run off paper. All right. Here we go. I'll lay this down. It's not straight. All right, I'm probably going to get another pull out of this. Oh, this is gorgeous. Look at this. Would that not be awesome for some backgrounds? Let's see if I can pull it up a little bit closer. All right, I'm going to set this over here to dry for a second. I am going to try to do another pull, and I'm going to do some of these smaller cards. Sure, if Maddie remembered to come today or not. <sighs> All right, I roll some of that off. I'll put some of these cards on here. So as you can see, I'm trying to get the most out of this gel plate. Get as many prints as I can do. I, I could probably get half one here. I think I might have put too much paint on here, but it'll be alright. 
Yeah, I think I got too much paint. I'm going to let these dry for just a second on the plate, so hopefully it'll pull it up. Yeah, some of it's coming up. Let's see that. I know, it is so gorgeous. And this is just perfect just for backgrounds because when you do your cards or whatever it is you're doing, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because you're probably going to layer on top of it. So. That one's gorgeous. Yes, it is so neat. All right. We're going to try to clean this again without the mess that I made earlier. Or you didn't. I may try to get one more pull out of this before I clean it. Let's see. I'm going to try. Yeah. I'm going to try this. This is a gel medium. Maybe. Apparently it's a gel medium I have not used. Should have done this on my kitchen table where I had more room. This is a gel medium, which means it's going to be kind of translucent. Not that. This is actually a pocket once I get it folded and uh, everything. So I'm going to stick that there. Uh, let's see another one. This is another one. I had some. Rounded ones. That's not going to fit. Uh, let's do two of these. Alright. There you go. Yeah, it's gel medium, so it's going to be clear. So you can use a gel medium instead of using white paint. You don't have to use white paint. You can use colored paint. It doesn't matter. Let's set this right here for a second. I think next time I do this, I'm going to do it. Stream it in my kitchen where I have more space. Wow. Oh, my goodness. How gorgeous is this? Lucky there. I'm going to bring it up. I mean, the camera really does not do this justice unless you're like here. This has got the really faint purple on the edge. You can't really see it too much. Maybe you can see it there. But that is gorgeous. All right. 
like I am going to do a clean on this one. I'm going to have to get me like a little sort of a squirt bottle for this baby oil. You know what? I then started cleaning it. I'm actually going to just going to let it go right now. I'll clean it later. We're just going to build it up. All right. Let's see. Use some Tim Holtz stencils. It's not Tim Holtz, but we're going with it. Let's see. Sorry, right, guys, I'm just looking at my stencils real quick. I'm going to use this one. And I'll use these to go around it. Alright. First I'm going to do this one kind of all around. Uh, those colors were... Yeah, I know. I just don't want to go through the whole... Uh, they're pan pastels. Oh, sweetheart, those colors you wanted were yellow, gray, and peach. Pan pastels. All right, let me put these colors up first before I make a hot mess. Yellow, gray, and peach. I'm going to use this gray. And then Do you want like a soft yellow? I do have this, like this yellow. It's really soft yellow, or I can go a little bit darker with this yellow. And I have that. I think the soft might be a little bit better, not so harsh. Alright. Do we want to clean this off? Let's clean it off. Because I'm afraid the colors aren't going to look good with the purple. So let's do a little bit more baby oil. Yes, they are so gorgeous. I love pan pastels. I just I need to use them more. Set this over here. It's going to take a minute to clean. I'm 
maybe some stuff that's left on the edges. So there's white paint that's already starting to dry up. Some of it's just going to have to stay because it is what it is. Some people actually like all that built up. That's as good as it's going to get. <sighs> Give me a second, guys. I'm going to turn this fan on. It's not I'm burning up. I'm put my lid back on my baby oil before I make a huge mess. All right. I'm going to have to tell hubby to pick up some paper towels before he comes home. Make some of those craft paper towels because they soak up oil a little bit better. Alright. Well, thank you, Don. I appreciate that. Let's see. We're going to start over here in this corner. Get some of this off. I'm going to try to get these little dots in the flower. All right. I'm going to wind up moving this stencil around so it's not all staying here. Sweetheart, you let me know if you want this as a full eight or full eight blah, twelve by twelve pool, or if you want to do it in pieces with the little things that I've cut. I'm doing that uh, class from Maddie's sale, and so I'm trying to get my Rolodex things made. I even have to put any extras in, but I might. We'll see. All right. See, I'm going to rotate it one time. Not sure if y'all can see this right now, what it looks like so far. Clean it off. Again, I'm going to go with the little dots with the yellow. Wipe it off just a smidge. Go in with the peach. Time for a nap, so we'll be watching from the wallflower seat. Oh, no problem, Shauna. I totally understand. I appreciate it. I'm going to put a little bit more color on that because it's not really starting to fade a little too much. All right. I think I'm going to keep flipping this around and do these two sides and then I'll fill in with a background. Wipe it off. Let's do a little gray. But the good thing about this is 
up until you get ready for your um, paint. You can take your time unless you're just in a hurry. I know y'all probably don't want to sit here and watch me apply pan pastels all day. Right, and some of this peach. Add a little yellow. Art. I'm going to rotate it one time. There we go. Again, with the yellow. Go ahead and put some yellow in the flower. It'll get blended in with the peach. All right. I'm going to take the peach and pounce this in. Sorry, I'm getting all quiet, I'm kind of concentrating here. Wiping this off. Get the gray. We're going to do this one more time after I rotate it one last time. All right. I don't know if y'all can see this. A uh, good picture from this from the camera. Oh, it is looking gorgeous. Put a little bit more peach in there. Good choice in colors, Diana. Sometimes it's easier to like pounce it like if you're stenciling than if you were to rub it. Because rubbing it's going to tear up your tool. I don't know if you can see my tool too much, but it's kind of tearing it up when I rub.
Yes, they are gorgeous. And a little bit more peach. Come on. All right. All right, here we go. Um, do we want to do like background stencils over it or are you going to pull it as this? I mean, if you just want to pull it or if you want to go with some background stencils. Like here's a doily. We use a dolly and do some. I don't know what color would look good with that. Unless we do a little bit of a green. Background, no background. Just whenever I pull this, whatever's on front is what's going to show. Just pull. Just pull it. Alright. Actually, I'm going to use this white. Should be enough. Alright. I'm going to do a full pull and then I go sprint and so I'm going to do the other things. All right, here we go. Oh, it's gorgeous. There you go. Now, if you can see some of the yellow right there, I mean, if you're in person, you can really see it. This is gorgeous. <sighs> All right. Uh, Dawn and Diana, email me your address. Email me your address. And I'm making cut these down like six by six and get them or cut them down. You let me know what you want to cut down to to make it easier to mail it to you. I'm actually going to go in with. Some of this green pearlescent color. This is a green pearlescent. I'm going to add some of this to 
like some of the gaps here. My nose wanting to do a whistling sound. And that's my dog you hear snoring. Just do some here and there in the background. As I think I'm going to be doing some more of these streams in the future can see it now because I'm already addicted to this. The possibilities are endless. Alright. So I'm going to let it go now. I'm going to do some of this gel medium. Oop. I might have got a little too much there. I don't think I got enough. round one here and I have a couple others <sighs> let's see I'm gonna do this one and this one and maybe do one of these if it'll fit. I don't know if you can see that green polka dotted background. Gorgeous. And some of that purple's coming through. And there's this. It's gorgeous. Love those colors. I got a pile over here. Uh, let's just keep layering stencils. And then we'll see what it all comes out looking like. Because uh, it's a little too much to have to keep cleaning it all. Hmm. Add. 
pinks. Alright. Going with some pink here. Like I said, pouncing is the best because rubbing on these stencils is kind of rough. All right, let me do this right here. I'm going to take this darker pink and do the inside. I'm going to go one more darker. Oh, heck. Let's go full on dark. There we go. may not be able to see that just yet. Earlier, I set my pan pastel down on my plate. I haven't seen any evidence of it messing it up yet, so hopefully it didn't do nothing to it. Be careful setting things down on it, because if it stays there for a while, it's going to leave an impression on your plate. Trying to be good about using what's here. I do buy my stamping up stuff though, so I'm trying to use some of my stash. Thought about getting some of my stamping up die cuts and gel print and some of those. I like the new butterflies that we got. These butterflies are gorgeous. All right. And this is one last one. Now I'm going to do a pull, see what picks up from the other ones. Wait a second. Let's see if it's an important text, which it's not. <laughs> not an important text. Still getting a lot of dark.
All right. So we're going to pull this. I'm just going to use this gel medium. It seems to make the designs look a little bit brighter or more vibrant. Get a new pad of 12 by 12 out. I was with Stampin' Up! years ago with my own customer. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much what I am. I am my own customer. But I've been seeing whenever I go like to Michael's and stuff and it seems like they're getting less and less stuff in. This is pretty. Kind of like a kind of a hodgepodge mishmash. I think it's about time to clean it here in a second. I'm gonna do some little pulls. With the other items, and I'm gonna clean it. I'm gonna try one more pull. One more pull. time is Maddie coming on? She said like five or six or something like that. Maybe five my time. Six her time. Alright. I'm going to get some of these in here. Maybe one of each of these. Maybe one of these. One of these. piece this one that's very subtle this one is the colors are getting lighter and lighter it's not too bad very subtle that one. You can see a little bit of the dolly over here. With some good colors. Of course you could take your uh, texture plates or something or stamps and stamp over it for some other cool designs. There's that one. That's pretty cool. All right. Time to clean, clean, clean. The fun part. Y'all want to take a break and go get you a snack or something. You don't have to sit here and watch me clean this. Now this doesn't want to open. There we go. Whoops, I think I might have put too much. Soak some of that up. Yeah, 
it's gorgeous. I mean, sometimes a little subtle backgrounds is just all you need. Like I said, it's probably going to be layered out with other kinds of paper and stamping and whatnot. So. so I can think of any other colors that you would like to see. I do have one thing I want to do before I go. Ooh, these crusty bits. I'm going to have a lot to clean. Let's see. Let's spread it out. Baby oil does not want to come out very well. This is just some cheapy baby oil. No name brand really. Got it from Dollar General Store. Or no, I got it from Dollar Store. From the Dollar Tree. Ooh. It is cleaning it off, but I'm having to work at it. You don't want to damage it trying to clean it, but if you like really pull on it just a little bit, it helps get off that little bit of dried paint on the edges. I'm clean it just a little bit more here in the center. We can do a couple more pulls. I'm going to call it done for today. I guess I don't want to bore y'all to tears. Ooh, what a mess. Yeah, you can get quite a few pulls to one, one round. Is there any colors that y'all want to see? I may try something real quick. If I can find the stencils. Should be up front here. These stencils here I cut, they're actually two layer stencils. So I want to kind of try these. There's that one and this one. And I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as two layers. All right. And these I'm probably going to pull on the smaller ones. Because the designs are a little bit smaller. 
I may not do the whole gel plate, just part of it. Let's see. Oh, that's not good. Oh, God, see that looking good. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to put my pastels back where they belong. See, these go over here. That goes there. That goes there. That one goes here. Maybe. Alright. Any colors, Chabula? You're definitely not bored. Okay. Awesome. I'm glad I'm not boring you. Trying to clean my hands off a little, a little bit of a hot mess. These are two layered stencils, and that means uh, they will lay on top of each other. Let's see if I can show you. You can see it better here. You would do like this one first, then you could take this one and go over. So if you lay them on top of each other. It's going to give you a design. Okay. I think that's the way they go. We can try this one first. No, nope. we'll try this one first. And I'm going to do it right here. I know you can't see it. Just let me scoot this gel plate over. Maybe you can see it better. Because I'm not going to do the whole gel plate. Put it right here. Another way you can see it. So I'm not going to do the whole gel plate. Um, what colors y'all want to do for this one? Can do some blues. We really haven't done that many blues. How about we do these blues and the ombre? Actually, you know what? We'll do these two so you can kind of see the layers and what I'm talking about. All right, so we're going to do this layer first, and I'm going to do it in the lighter color. Um, you can buy these stencils. Not for me, though, because this is not my design. So I cannot sell it to you. Um, if you search uh, maybe two layer dyes or two layer stencils, I'm sure you could find something. So there's that layer. I'm going to pull it back and you can see the design there. So I'm going to carefully lay this one right over on top of it. I'm going to take the blue, the other darker blue, and go right over on top of it. Hopefully that's not messing it up.
All right. I'll pull this up. Once I pull this, you're going to be able to see it. We're going to go with the gloss medium. There should be more than enough. Baby, you'll run away. That's not really going to fit. Let's choose a couple of these. Can't sit too much through the stencil. You may could do like a do the first layer and then pull it and then do the second layer. We can try that here in a second. You can see it here. Can see it in this one. I can see the lighter color and then the darker color. You can see it a little bit here. This one you can see it more. Maybe I can get another pull out of that. I'm actually going to pull it on this. You can see it on the plate where it's two layers. Go ahead and put this, put this right here. All right. See if y'all could see that without me killing your eyeballs. That's pretty. But once I fold this and stuff, it'll have different designs in different places. All right. Um, let's see if I can get one more pull out of this. Do some more of these cards. These I just cut three by five and then corner punched them. And then once I'm done, I'm going to, uh, once they're dry, I'm going to get my Rolodex punch and punch them. So I got a little bit more out of it. So you can get quite a few pulls just out of one. All right. Thank you. We're gonna clean this just a little bit. I'm only doing part of the gel plate. It may not take so long to clean it.
this. I have to do a real good cleaning with this baby oil once I'm completely done. some turn me on some craft paper or something to help soak up some of this oil all right let's do it in another direction i'm gonna do it a little bit different let's do that little piece All these prints gathering around. I need to move them out of my way. It's starting to feel a little claustrophobic. Right. Um, this one I want to go in a different color range. Let's see. Let's go. Yellow and orange, so maybe it'll show the contrast a little bit better. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. I don't know if I'm teaching, I'm just sharing what I'm doing. Maybe get a little inspiration or little moment crafty momento going I do feel a little bit more crafty than I was feeling um how to rearrange my craft area in my room one more time I told my husband this is it until my son moves out because it was work Once when my youngest, which is not going to be anytime soon, still got at least four, five years. Once he moves, his room is mine, my craft room. And now I'm not in a big hurry for him to go. I'm just saying. Okay, did that. I'm gonna pull it. No, you can't see it too much right now. Oh, you know what would be cool? We're not gonna do the orange. I'll show you what we're gonna do. Sorry to switch gears just a little bit. You'll get my drift when you see what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm actually going to take this lighter color. Take this blue. I'm not going to rub it. I'm pouncing it.
Yes, pouncing is going to take a little bit longer, but it's going to keep from blending the colors. Because if you, I was to rub this, it's going to make it green. And it may be green eventually, but we're going to see how this works out. It's all about experimenting. All right, so now I'm going to pull this. I'm not sure if y'all can see that too well. Let's see if I can lift this up. <sighs> no, y'all still aren't going to be able to see it too much. Oh, I never did turn this light on. Let's see if it helps. Not much. All right, I'm going to get a little bit of gel medium. I'm going to have to soak my brayer quite a bit to get all this paint off of it. I'm trying to get a good bit on here. First one, I'm going to pull, uh, let's see, I'm going to pull this. <laughs> well, hopefully you'll get some inspiration and dig in. Get you a gel plate. Because they are fun. Fun, fun, fun. I used to be scared of them. And then I finally just got in there and started playing and... I can say I'm not a big fan of using acrylics on it, but I mean, I'm sure if I played a little bit more with it, I do like using like these pastels. This is the first time I use pastels on it. It's pretty fun. I could also use uh, oxide inks. Let's see if you can see that. That light's kind of flashing it out. You can see the two designs in there. No, that just about took all the blue off of it. Let's put it back on. I'm going to add a little bit of blue because it took out all the blue off of it. And I'm going to go in with the starker blue. Dawn, have you watched any of Maddie's videos with playing with the gel plate? If you just want to play around on the gel plate, you could always get like a little 5x7 one or a smaller one just to play with. So if you decide you don't want that you don't like to do it, um, it's not like a big huge investment. That's what I started out with was a little small gel plate
I know you can get them at Michael's Hobby Lobby. Which Hobby Lobby, you can't use a coupon anymore. So, um, Michael's, I think you still can if they have any. Which they get into where they don't have them. The coupons. Uh, I think Joann's might have some. I'm not sure. I'm sure they have it online. All right. Ooh, that's going to be really pretty. I'm going to put a little too much there. So I'm going to have full design. It'll have half of it. But it'll still look good. There's that. Can't really see. Yellow didn't show up this time. Kind of did in this one. I'm not sure if y'all can see the yellow in there. I like this. This is a good way to get some different layer colors without all the acrylic paint. I'm going to try one more pull. And then I'm going to clean it up. Right here. Still got a little bit, not the full design, but when you're layering, it may not make a difference. All right. Scrapbooking, stamping, genealogy have been my passions. It's been expanding since I saw my first video of current journals. Um, well, I wouldn't say I don't haven't made a junk journal. Um, I've been working on like a little journal for my grandson for every month. It's not really a junk journal per se. Uh, just, it's kind of like a baby book. For every month that he turns older, I just add another page onto it and give it to his mom, let his mom fill it out. I'm not sure she has time to do it right now. She went back to work. I dabble in a little bit of everything. Uh, mixed media. So I've been doing some clay. I do like little mini journal. Well, I wouldn't really call them journals. Like mini album type things. Uh, I can crochet. I knit. Those are usually my downtime like in the afternoons after I'm done crafting and stuff. I'll usually maybe just sit down and crochet a little bit. Working on a afghan for my next grandbaby that will be here soon. Um, I used to do jewelry a little bit. 
I don't really have the patience for that. I know I say that and I'm sitting here doing this, but I, don't know. I guess I just, it's not something I really enjoy doing. Plus, it's too many small fiddly things. I don't, that's the part that I don't like. It's doing small fiddly things. All right. Sorry, my nose was itching. All right. Let's try one more of these. Uh, let's see. Do this one. This one is like a flower. Try to soak some of this oil off my hands again. Maybe some greens and pinks on this one. Cut a few of these others back up before they get messed up. The yellow here, the orange where it goes. And put these two blues where they go. Here. I did get my pan pastels on Amazon in case you're wondering. Side on the pinks that I want to use. That's more of red. I'm gonna go back to these pinks that I were get or magentas that I was using earlier. I'm just gonna use like this lighter color and this color. And then my greens. When you get the whole set, they'll put them in color order for you, which is these four that go down here. You'll have bright yellow green tint. And this is the bright yellow green. This is the bright yellow green shade. And then this is the bright yellow green dark. So they'll put them in like a color order for you. I'm going to use this one and this one. All right. So we'll start with this. Get a clean. Uh, let's see. Turn it around. Be a little bit of a cleaner. So this I'm gonna do the darker colors for this in the flower. You know what? I'm going to get a blue, two blues for the background of it. So, I'm going to go in with a darker shade and then the leaves. I'm going to pounce it in. So, this is where you may see where the two layers comes in first, comes in together. This is where you would put your dark 
shades. Uh, let's see. This is where your dark shades would go. I think there might be a leaf right here and here. I'm going to take this pink. I'm going to do all the dark shades here where the pink is supposed to go. Alright. Let's see. I'm gonna go in with my dark blue here. Pounce this in here. Pounce that there. I am doing a little bit of rubbing. All right. So I'm pulling this up. That's what I have so far. Not sure if you can see that too well. Then I got to take this, line it up best I can. Go right. Right about here. See. May not get it perfect, but if I can get it close. All right. Now I'll take my lighter shades and go in with my green first. Pounce my lighter green. This one here, I think, is where you're going to see the best of the two layer. Alright. Take the lighter pink. Just going to pounce it. Pounce, pounce, pounce. I'm pouncing because I don't want to mess up what I did underneath. It's more than likely it'll blend it together. Sorry, I'm being a little quiet here. All right. I don't know why. 
in here. A little bit of this light blue in here. All right. I'm going to pull it. Sorry. <laughs> Do the tools come with the pastels? Um, if you get the big, most of the sets do, will come with the tools. Um, I have bought, um, when I bought the Mega set, it come with quite a few tools. Um, and then when I was doing some of the add-ons, the, um, the pearlescents that came with additional tools. Um, you can also buy extra tools if you so wish. All right. So, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and pull it. Let's pull it. I'm going to move my sheet. It's starting to get a little crummy. I cannot wait to see what this turns out to be. It's going to be so gorgeous. All right. Let's see. I kind of want to get a full pull out of it. Nah, I'm just gonna go for it. We're going to see it before I do, probably. Oh, oh my gosh. That is like gorgeous. That is the two layer stenciling type thing there. I am going to do it one more time because I want to pull it up in here. Oh my gosh, this one's like, okay, I got one more we can do that's a flower because I just want to see what it's going to look like because this one is just like amazing. I think I got myself hooked on these two layer stencils. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to do it right out there for that one. Then I'm a pull right about there for a card. Oh, we need to find some more two layer stencils. There's that. It came out pretty good. You can't see the pink too much, but it's there. I'm telling you, it's there. It's gorgeous. Didn't do quite a good of a pull up here. But oh my word. Look how gorgeous that is. Mm. Let's clean this off. I'm going to do, I think I have a rose one that I want to do. I need to find a way to make that stencil big. Big, big, big. I need to tell Maddie to find us some two layer stencils. Mm 
Oh my gosh, that one was like gorgeous. All right. Let me look at this rose one that I have over here. Oh, I got two other flower ones. That's one I just did. Ain't it? Yes. This one I already did. This is a rose. All right. I'm going to keep the blue colors. We're going to put the pink up. We'll keep the greens as well. Uh, what color rose do we want to do? Want to do red? Why not? This is permanent red shade and permanent red. That's green, that's blue. Jesus. I'm going to flip this over and use the other. We can tonight. All right. First, I'm going to go in with the dark color first. Oh, yeah, you're talking about talking to Maddie about the three layers, two layer stencils. Not really any more leaves on there. Go in with the dark red. All right, guys, don't mean to be so quiet, just concentrating. I'll do a lot of blue first. Jets 
already got some dark blue on there, so it's kind of blending in together. All right. All right, there's that layer. We're going to put the outer layer on it. Sometimes it's hard to get these right on point. You just can't be perfect with it. All right. Go in with the red first. Just a little bit of blue here. This does take a little bit of time, but it's well worth it. And like I said, you don't always have to use a stencil. You can go and make your own design on the page, on the gel plate. You would want to start with your outermost layer first. Because when you pull, whatever's on bottom is what's going to show. All right, let's go with the lighter color green. I'm going to go ahead and take my darker blue. Getting a little messy with the blue. All right. Let's see what this is going to bring up. I Sandy. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. Can you see how it's got the darker spots in there? 
in the flower. We'll go ahead and try to do another pull. come up as well as I wanted it to. Try putting it down. Push, push, push. Eh, be all right. Just pull these up and see what they look like. Oh, gorgeous. How gorgeous is that? Just the leaf part, but you do some layering, it's going to be perfect. Um, this what I used was a gel medium, it's just the artist loft gel medium. Um, you can use white paint, you can use uh. You can use either white acrylic paint or um, colored paint if you want a different kind of background. I think I'll most of the acrylic paint. And then go off and clean it some baby oil. Um, don't search pan pastels on YouTube. You're going to find a bunch of different people who do this. Thank you, Sandy. You can use acrylic paint mostly. Um, I've don't have any oil paint to try, but you can always try it. Oh. All right. I'm pretty much done those. Got quite a bit done. Just these again. And usually, Sandy, I'm not sure if you know or saw, I got quite a few pulls on some of these. I got like a pile of pulls sitting over here. This is one I did earlier. Didn't show up too good, but it was fun nonetheless. Uh, this is one I pulled. It was a two-layer stencil like the rose. Like the colors just come out wonderful. Let that pull. These are going to be the uh, for the memory decks cards. I have a punch. Put on. So I'll grab my punch real quick. I had this punch here by um, Heidi Swap, I believe, or whatever her name is. And I'm just going to put it in there and kind of line it up, punch it, and then I 
have my own little Rolodex cards. Once I decorate it and stuff and put other things on top, it'll thicken up and it'll flatten out. So, y'all want more or you want to go? It's your choice. I don't want to keep y'all. If y'all want more, I'll keep going. Not sure what I, what else to do. Let me put some of these up. That goes here. Goes there. Greens. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to put some of these up. Y'all want more or you want to call it a afternoon? What time is it? Three, it's 3.30 here. Um, that means... Maddie will be on in about an hour and a half. I'm going to have to clean my plate a little bit more. Um, another thing I plan on doing is... Oh, I know. The possibilities of gel plates is like endless. They're just so much fun. And these... Here's a few more that I did earlier, Sandy. Pull them up a little bit more. I need some better light. That's not really helping. That's blinding it out a little bit. There's these that I did earlier. They're not like bold, but it's good for layering. I think these were some of my first pulls just to get things rolling. That's just a little background. Let's see. Most of these were for like multiple times where I pulled it. Uh, some of them are ghost prints and such. So, are any of y'all in the Rolodex class that's coming up on Saturday, I think? What is the 13th? Hey Siri, what day is the 13th on? It's Saturday, March 13th, 2021. That's Saturday. Thank you. Don says more. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, let's see. What else I got in here? And let's do these. These would be fun. Then I can do one now. All right, these are like little flower stencils. Uh, let's see. And so are these. I think this, these are just a big version of what this is. All right, let's go for some different colored greens. Bring out my green palette. Just gonna open the whole thing. I keep thinking my trash can's under my desk because that's where it used to be. And it's not under there. Some of these I'm gonna trade out for some newer ones. There's this one. Let's 
Sometimes I can be a little booger to get up on the tool. I need a flat one. That's not a flat one. None of these are flat, I don't think. Huh. The flat ones. These can be a little boogers to get up on the little tools. Kind of like trying to dress a one year old. Up, oh, it tore. Let's try it again. Don't let this deter you. You don't have to use these. I do like using them though. Like I said, trying to put on a pants on a two-year-old. Oh, well, that's what I mean. I can do it. It's no problem. I like playing. I just don't want to bore you all to tears. Uh, this is the old one. I will probably get off. Once Maddie comes on, I don't want to keep y'all from her. Uh, where's my, where's this tool? This one's good. The triangle for getting those little tiny spots and little detailed areas. That's just another. All right, these little makeup ones are good too. All right, let's go for some greens real quick. Uh, show y'all which ones I'm using for right now. I'm going to go in here. That's more used. So I'm pouncing this because it's just easier to get it in that groove. We're going to go in with some of the darker colors here in a second. So I'm going to go in with the darker green. Now we're going to go for the little bit darker. Well, maybe it's a lot darker. I'm trying to hit the bottom areas of these leaves.
I have not tried stamping with these yet. I may try that off camera one day. See how well they do. And if they do well, then I'll come on camera and show you. Um, let's go get a few colors. You know what? Let's just do blue. All right. That's how they look before I put anything on them. Um, let's add the background type. Hold on just a second. I know you can't hear me. Sorry. I'm going to put this over it. So polka dots. And let's see. So I need to see. I'm going to grab this. You can do layers like this. That's what is so good about it. You can layer up as much as you want before you do it full. Something like that, right? If you were to do this on paper first, you would have to go and uh, put your background on first and then go on top of your background and do it layers from the back up. This we're doing from the front back. All right. I'm going to put this back over here. I've always enjoyed working with card making pastels and stencils. So this is right up my alley to step up. Oh yeah. Ooh, this could be so cute. Let's do this. I have to bring out another brayer. This one's getting a little sticky. Oh no. It did get sticky. Alright. <sighs> We're just going to bring out the big mama. Bring out the big mama. Got this one at Hobby Lobby. Let's see. Ooh, I want to like this because it's going to go all the way. It's going to be sideways, but it's okay. Who cares? And this is what I mean. Where you're doing your front first and then the back. The little polka dots, as you can see, is in the back. So when I fold this up, the flowers are going to be sideways, but 
I'm not worried about it too much. Oh, let that dry. Let's do another pull. There's some of these cards here. I'm just going to catch that little pattern there. I'm going to catch these right up here. What is it, Debbie? They should be getting home soon. I know. Go lay down. Go lay down. Caught just the corner of it. Go lay down. Go lay down. Go get on the bed. You can get on the bed. Pulling up ghost prints. This just got a little bit of the corner there. And there's upside down. There you go. There's those pools. Find it a little bit easier to get some of the gel medium off with the baby wipe before I do a good pool. I mean, a good clean. It's a little hard getting that gel medium up with the baby oil. One more time. All right. Now I get the baby oil and clean the rest of this up. you let's see I'm look at my stencil stash do do a Tim Holtz one it's actually two Uh -huh. I don't have any more Tim Holtz stints on there. Maybe not. Hmm. Okay. Let's see here. You know what I want to do? I'm going to do like a little ombre like I did earlier. And I'm going to do this in some teals. I'm going to do this in an ombre. And I haven't decided with this one yet. 
So This is a uh, turquoise, I believe. Yes, turquoise tint. And then this is turquoise. Then we're going down with turquoise shade. Excuse me, sorry. That was kind of rude. Then we're going to go in with the turquoise uh, extra dark. You're not going to see a lot of this. I'm just putting it in the center. <clears throat> I'll have to get me a drink here a second. All right. I'm going to make you wait on this one. Let's do another ombre for this one. Mm. Let's see. Mm. I'm going to do an ombre in oranges. I don't know if this is going to turn out good or not, but we're going to play. Let's go with some soapy water. Turn this one around. Nope, I use this one. Alright. I'm actually going to start in the middle. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Oh well, we're going for it. Too late now. I'm going to get that off. I'll go with the light. Do the light on the edges. This might have a little bit of a antique color to it. We got the orange. Oh, I have a feeling this is going to be cool. I am ready for this. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show y'all just a second. All right. Put these up real quick. Thank you. Hi, Debbie. All right, there's a turquoise. I don't know if I can see that too good. 
Sorry about that. But light, it's like where you can't really see that lighter color. Let's see if I can see this a little bit better. If I pull it over this way. That's just going to show up a little bit better once I pull it. So, first thing. Let's see how I want to do this. It might just fit all of it. I'm going to pull this one first. Hopefully what I have planned is going to come out right. Alright. Pull this off. I'm going to pull this one first. lifting this up because I don't want it to get into that. Uh, it's not great. For some reason it kind of smudged a little. Not sure why. I'm going to let this sit here for a second and dry. It didn't do too good right there. It smudged for some reason. I'm going to have to let it go. I'm going to dry this. Thank you, Diana. I guess I saw the turquoise and I automatically thought orange. They're opposite of each other on the color wheel. Okay. I think that's kind of dry. Now I'm going to put some on that. This might turn out to be a hot mess. Let's see. Yeah, not my favorite. It's kind of a hodgepodge mess. Let's see if I can bring it up. It's not bad. Not what I was expecting either. But I think I'm going to leave it and I can work with it. Alright, let's pull some ghost prints. Let's see how the ghost prints come out. And I'm just going to do this one right here, long ways. Do this one. Long ways. I like the colors, but the way they layered just didn't come out right for me. Not really what I was looking for. Oh, now that's gorgeous. Let's see if I can see it a little bit further up. I'll 
pull this one up. Didn't all come up. Not bad. It's got potential. I'm going to do one more pull with both of these. There's not much left on this one, but we're going to try. All right, one more. This one come out a lot better than the last one. Look at that. A lot better than that last one did. And it's still got some good vibrant colors on it. And this one again. Still quite a few colors. A little bit faded than the last one, but it come out pretty good. Hands are starting to get a little sticky. I think I'm going to call it done for now. I may come back on maybe this weekend and do some more. Um, I think my dog needs to go out to potty and I'm the only one here to take her out. So She was doing the dance so I need to get her out. Uh, if y'all decide to get a gel plate and stuff, let me know. Um, you can get all this stuff either through Maddie, which is Spectrum Art Creations, or you can go to Amazon and get it. If you want it quick, I love Maddie, but if you want it quick, uh, Amazon is your deal. If you're willing to wait, you might can get a good deal for Maddie. So, I'm just going to finish cleaning. If y'all have any questions, I'll I'll stay here to answer them real quick. This is actually coming up a little good with the baby wipes. Just, and I think it's time for the baby oil. You're welcome. Alrighty, I'll see y'all at Maddie's. I may be eating though. Hubby's gonna make pork chops. That's what we're having for supper. So, I'm gonna clean this just another second. I'm gonna turn this off and go walk the dog and come back and finish cleaning it. I just wanted to get most of it off. So I can put it back in the storage case. But y'all have a wonderful afternoon. And I will see y'all this afternoon. Bye guys.